What's up, Divine Feminine? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with y'all's weekly energy check-in, okay? And I know I'm supposed to come in on Sunday, so y'all probably like, girl, you a day late and a dollar short, but I really needed some rest days, you guys, okay? So I hate to not be committed, but I definitely had to take some time for myself. And I have to tell y'all a funny story about Amazon, okay? <laughs> Because um, y'all probably going to see somebody else on YouTube with the same headpiece on or a similar one. Well, I bought her the same too. But it wasn't really that I bought her. You know what I'm saying? But I bought her a gift for Christmas. Somebody that worked on YouTube as well. Another YouTube tarot reader. And um, I guess she was the last person I purchased for on Amazon. So when I went on Amazon and I was thinking, you know, what else can I do to to creatively decorate my crown because y'all know I like to wear crowns and really glitzy uh headbands and stuff like that to decorate my crown or whatever so I'm like you know what I want to get one of those little Indian pieces so I went on there and I found two that I really liked and some uh third eye jewels and I purchased it and I was like trying to hurry up and click so I ain't changed my mind because I'll do that sometimes at checkout. Like, you know what? Save for later. I don't need to spend right now. But I'm like, you know what? You was really generous to everybody else for Christmas. Go ahead and get yourself a treat. So I did. And I did not check the address on the checkout. And with her being the last person I sent one to, I sent these out to her as well. So I tried. I did realize it, but I was like, dang, normally Amazon only take about two days to deliver it to me, especially something as light and simple as this. And um, when it didn't come in two days, I checked to see, and I'm like, oh my God, I sent it to the last person I bought a Christmas gift for. And so I tried to text her, but next thing I know, she was on YouTube with it on her hair. And it looked so cute that I just couldn't read. You know what I'm saying? You can't, once somebody open up something and they like, oh my God, who bought me a gift? You know, you can't be like, you know what I'm saying? Run that back. So, of course, I didn't. Um, I wanted her to keep it as a gift because she is a very generous light worker here on YouTube. You know, her aura is so pure. It's so light. It's so beautiful. So, you know, she definitely deserves the double gifting, you know. But um, I just said that to her because she does not know who got it for her. And I'm like, girl, I've been trying to reach out to you to tell you that it's me. Okay? So, um. I'm glad you enjoy, and it looks so cute on you, and you are welcome, girl, okay? And it's me. You ain't got a stalker, because that's one thing. She thought she didn't know who sent it to her, so. So, I'm making this announcement, number one, to say, it's me, boo, and to number two, to say, if you see me and somebody else rocking the same thing, it ain't because I copied her or because she copied me. It's because I was rushing at checkout, and I didn't switch the address. So, with that being said, I'm very blessed and thankful to be able to, you know, bless those that definitely deserve to be blessed. You know, another divine feminine, somebody that really deserve it. So, without further ado, y'all, we're going to hop right in. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Check out the description so you can find out where to follow me on my other social media platforms as well as how to book a personal with me, okay? And without further ado, we gonna hop right in. So two Oracle decks got picked in order to just kind of start off the main energy before we clarify with tarot. Keep in mind, guys, that over the weekend, we just came into, like, Mercury retrograde came into full effect. So, not as if we was lacking X content before it end, but y'all already know, for, like, the next month, we definitely gonna be talking about people more and more that regret, you know, certain things or that could be coming back around or wanting to spark a friendship and this don't even have to just be love interest it can definitely be um you know friends and family members that you've fallen out with too just people that didn't really appreciate your energy when it was so present in their life and now that your your absence is definitely um affecting individuals so oh i had to get something to wet my whistle y'all because it was getting dry already i'm like i only been talking for five minutes 
Okay, but let's see what's coming in for divine feminine, holy divine spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides to the highest white light. Please use me as a vessel, a clear, concise channel messages for divine feminine as it pertains to this weekly energy and what's coming in for divine feminine. Okay, so spirit definitely wanting people to start using their experiences as a way, uh, find a way of expression to like basically, um, to like push out any pain and to get you over difficulties at this time. Spirit is saying like us as divine feminine, we be having some brilliant ideas, you know, things that we can really implement. And I don't know if it's just like our comfort zone and like wanting to step out of that, but like not knowing what the results are or if we are gonna be wasting our time. But at this time, it's like, especially with it being Mercury retrograde and like a lot of the stuff that you went through, um, you know what I'm saying? Like coming up and almost like maybe being like kind of paralyzing, Spirit is saying, find other ways to like channel a way to like purge that energy. Basically, you know, writing a book or, um, you know, it just depends on what it is your talent is. You know what I'm saying? But spirit is definitely saying like, find a way to turn difficulties into power, pain into power, your mess into a message. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting that you guys are really looking attractive. Okay. So Valentine's Day is coming up, y'all. Y'all already know, but we always beautiful as it is all right but at this time spirit um a lot of people are looking at you for like how much passion you hold how much creativity you know and things of that nature and even when you feel like you having a writer's block or creator's block somewhere else it's like your light is so luminous to other individuals that you know people can't even tell when you stuck you know but you can tell because it's kind of like you know um, you know, losing your spark for cer certain things or, you know, being afraid to implement your new ideas when you could have been really bold and brave in the past. And spirit is kind of saying, like, embrace that part of yourself again. You know, get back out here and start being um, brave enough to express whatever it is that you want, uh, your, your creative expression, you know, your authentic creative expression. I always get tongue-tied during these readings now. So, um... Spirit is saying that you have a luminous life force and you have a lot of personal power here, all right? Uh, your temple is your paradise, okay? So, again, we've been talking about health a lot. I'm not going to drive that in so deep, you know what I'm saying? Because we getting over the holidays and we all have to kind of kick back into our good habits that we had before when it comes down to fasting, detoxing, you know, taking time to just take meat out of your diet, even if you're not going to become a vegan or vegetarian. But going seven days without it sometimes doesn't hurt. In fact, it'll definitely help you think a lot clear, more clear, you know, or just cutting back on certain things in your life, okay? So spirit is definitely saying, you know, use your temple as a vessel in such a way where it's like, um, and that could be why the blockages is here because I am getting creator's block for a lot of you. And for others of you, I'm just getting a fear of wanting to implement these brilliant billion dollar ideas that you guys have. And it's like, at this time, it could be the most pertinent time and the most important time for you to be brave enough to actually put that energy out Considering the fact that some of you guys might be going through kind of a difficult time financially and you need, you know, this is a time of like manifestation. So it's like whatever it is that you want, it can come to you, but you can't be fearful around it. Okay. You can't like put out ideas and then be like, but it probably ain't going to hit on nothing. Nobody probably going to understand. It ain't going to resonate. You know, you can't. You can't say you're going to do something and know that it's a good idea and then doubt that it's going to be successful. You have to have that same bold energy that you had when it comes down to starting other, you know, uh, endeavors in your life. Like, so whatever it is that you've been through that kind of like killed your joy or, um, 
Like, basically, I don't know. Like, I was getting that message a while ago, and I'm also getting it again today. But basically, like, tore holes in your org field. You know, you could have had a lot of different people pulling at your energy. A lot of people implementing fear tactics. A lot of people trying to take shots at your confidence. A lot of people, you know, projecting their energy onto you and making you feel like, you know give up on your dreams and just be like everybody else, you know? So it's like, don't fall into the routine of feeling like that because I feel like at this time, you got time on your hands and then, and now is the time more than ever to, to at least start strategizing how you're going to put these ideas out here, okay? So yeah, already been tongue-tied before Mercury retrograde, so I'm not even going to blame this transit, what I'm going to try to do is just slow down with my talking. Because usually I can talk fast and flow. But if I'm going to be stumbling over my words, I'm going to just take it a lot slower than I normally do. Okay? Alright? But it's like you guys have the wisdom and the passion within you. You just have to, like, call it back up. And I know a lot of us... Um, there, there's there been a lot of people around me that's also just been complaining about being lethargic, fatigued, feeling energetically depleted. Keep calling back your energy, y'all. Call back your energy as much as you can. You don't know how many people are pulling on your energy, which is another reason why I just felt the need to take a break away from YouTube for the weekend. Because, you know. But, um, let's see what else is coming in for Divine Feminine. But again, I do feel like a lot of people, I mean, it could be people from the past too, but I also feel like a lot of new people are very much attracted to what it is that you are already doing. So even though you feeling bored and complacent, possibly with what it, with a job or something that you are already created for yourself, and it's like, okay, I know I need to revamp, but how? I know I need to move on to the next thing. I know I need to explore other facets, but what? You know, it's a lot of us that's questioning because we don't want to waste our time. But don't look at nothing that you see as a brilliant idea as a waste of time because that is exactly what's going to manifest it being a waste of time, you know? We getting strength here. So spirit is saying it again, power over difficulty. You know, being that queen of the jungle, that king of the jungle or whatever the case is, because we know a lot of us divine feminine, we have to practice balancing out that divine masculine within us because it's times that we have to be our own strength and our own backbone. And we can't, you know, we can't sit around and wait for the next person to come and be that for us. It's like in times, you know, we can ask God, we can we can call on our spiritual team, but human being wise, we have to count on ourselves a lot. So spirit is saying that, like, you know, you have the strength to overcome whatever gray area in your life or this crossroads that you could be at when it comes down to what's next. What am I going to be doing next? It's saying strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. So that's another thing, y'all. Okay, the self-confidence thing we already touched on, but forgiveness as well. That can be another thing that's making you feel stuck. You know, it's a... um. You know, holding on to any resentment to the past, you know. I mean, I don't know, guys. Like I said, I don't judge, you know. I'm the type of person that you could really talk to when I'm understand, you know, because I felt I go through the motions, you know what I'm saying? And there's times that, not that I get mad about the past, but, you know what I'm saying? That I'm just like, no, you know. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like my boundaries are up because, you know, as a divine feminine and your light radiating so much, it draw a lot of darkness in. So sometimes you get to a point where you just like you're not taking nobody's stuff. You get what I'm saying? And so that's this this energy of being strong, of being able to tame beasts with a with a gentle touch. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, there's strength and forgiveness as well. Because sometimes people ain't even sorry for stuff, but you just gotta forgive to be able to release and let go. And move to the next phase and not feel like you're stuck in a cycle or stuck in a timeline that you basically already should have elevated from. Or at least you feel in that way. So, yeah, you can't, we can't let nothing stop us from moving forward. It's like an issue comes up, address it. You know, if somebody seeks forgiveness, give it. If somebody don't seek forgiveness, send it off into the ethers anyways. 
because again it can stunt your growth yeah be the queen of cups this unconditionally loving individual now that don't mean don't have boundaries like with the strength card here yes have boundaries be kind understanding and giving but at the same time don't overextend yourself to people that you already know and have encountered situations where people have taken advantage of you lied to you cheated on cheated on you lied on you you know done certain things don't be no fool for the same people over and over again you know it's your natural nature nature to want to give and help other people feel loved feel beautiful feel wanted feel recognized you know feel heard but at the same time it's like don't you know put yourself on hold and like allow your self-confidence to diminish allowing certain individuals back into your space okay but yeah, it's saying follow your heart at this time, you know, so I feel like that's as it pertains to your love life as well as your career field. Spirit is asking, what is it that you really truly want? And as the Queen of Cups coming up here, who's very intuitive, you are getting some type of psychic insight. And if you haven't been, then it's time to meditate. If you haven't been meditating on a daily basis, which I know is difficult for a lot of us that got a lot of hustle and bustle and responsibilities on a daily basis. But it's important to at least try to meditate, you know, pray, get into your energy where you're taking time for yourself just to connect to the universe and God. You get what I'm saying? That's very important, especially if you're trying to gain some insight as to which direction is the best direction for your highest good. You know, next. What What's to do next, God? Guide me. I don't know what's next. I don't know, you know, what route I can find growth in or what route would end me, you know what I'm saying, down another road of stagnancy or whatever the case is. So if you're just trying to see what it is and where you're going because you're going through this huge transformation, you know, All right, so with that forgiveness, I'm getting the energy of like no longer being defensive. Maybe it's the defensiveness that's blocking certain things for you. You know, maybe you coming off to defensive. Why? Maybe you are coming off defensive to people that you don't even need to be defensive to. And that might be, they may be causing you to lose opportunities. You know, like even if your aggression is meant to be, you know, targeted towards something else or to ward off bad energy or whatever the case is it's like other people are seeing it and possibly seeing you as somebody that may be hard to work with that may be closed off that don't want to be bothered so it's like we got to welcome into our life what's meant to be welcomed in you know a lot of you guys are like because certain things may be slowing down you may be ready to give in and give up you know and um, one of the Soul Tribe members was saying that about her graduates. Like, she getting ready to, to graduate from school in May when she was getting ready to give up on it. So, like I said, it can be a it can be in a multitude of areas in your life where you're just feeling like you're not gaining the um, results that you want and just ready to give up on it. That can even be love. Like, I've been fighting for love and, you know, trying to, trying to continue to keep going and believe that something is for me or you know that it will be a part of my life or whatever the case is but not believing in myself and so not being able to manifest it okay so it's just very important to do that and to not come off defensive to others just because of things that happened in your past okay and i'm talking about everybody i'm not just talking about new suitors i'm talking about new people that come into your life that you know want to collaborate with you don't base, you know, whether you want to collaborate with that person off of other people trying to ride your coattail to the top or collaborating with other individuals and it ended in a, a disaster or where it didn't benefit you, but it benefited the other person. You know, don't think about those times. Think about now and how much you've grown, and elevated and learned from that and know that you got the discernment to recognize the signs. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what this is saying. 
a lot of you guys are focusing more on your home right now. So if you are, if you do have extra time on your hands where you're trying to figure out your direction, you've been focusing strictly on your domestic grounds, you know, whatever the case, whatever that is, just getting structure and order in your home, you know, especially if things got chaotic around the holidays and, you know, it took a little while for you to get back into the swing of things, you know, I see you guys really focusing on your home. This can be really cleansing your home, clean Cleaning up, you know, doing some type of early spring cleaning, throwing away old things, vacuuming, wiping down walls, smudging, doing a red brick sweep to protect your home because the, the full moon is coming up. So it's like warding off negativity or like pushing away negative things is it's the time for that. OK, or it's approaching. So some of y'all can be preparing to do that, you know, doing all your laundry, getting caught up, you know, making sure that your space is clean and clear to be able to receive the guidance that's necessary because it's not just about what we put in our bodies or what we consume, whether it's what we watch, listen to, or people we have around us, but it's also the space that we in too. They say cleanliness is close to godliness. So I'm pretty sure that higher dimensional beings are more comfortable in a very clean environment. So, you know, like I said, that could have been something you guys did over the weekend, or it could be something that you guys are slowly chipping away at throughout the week. So let's see what else is coming in. Let's get a spread as it pertains to the overall message. Okay, so y'all do have a king coming in for you guys. It's a king of wands. Oh, king of pentacles. Oh, boy. He watching you. Girl. All right, I had to just start another tape because that was so distracting. Like, why my shirt just keep on buttoning by itself? Come on now. Hang in there, girl. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the Ten of Cups is here for. Then I turn on the camera and it's like right back again. Come on now. This is a distraction. I'm about to pause and change my shirt in a minute. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here? Mm, oh my god oh boy y'all y'all literally got two choices from the past coming back okay i really do feel like that for some of you it can be a combination but both of these kings are in reverse so one person is coming back overly emotional over losing you. You know, they want a family with you. They was afraid. They was hesitant to give you a commitment in the past. For some of you, it's because some of them had a family. For others of you, um, they could have been dating multiple people and just got somebody else pregnant and they could have ghosted you. You get what I'm saying? And then for others of you, somebody else went and invested somewhere where they felt like that person was more creative, more talented, and either it went well and they got cut out the deal or it flopped, okay? So it's like at this time, you are already at a crossroads when it comes down to what it is that you want to do for yourself, you know, a new route for your business or, you know, doing something new for yourself. And you got one person that want to invest in you. And then you got one person that want emotional, you know, they want an emotional victory with you. Like they want to achieve happiness with you. They want to combine families. They want forgiveness. They want to get back what it is that they lost. So you pretty much got two people vying for you coming in for apologies during this Mercury retrograde. And for some of you, it can be a water sign. And for others of you, it can be an earth sign. Okay. So, okay. So what is it that this King of Pentacles in reverse wants? Now, again, both of them got secrets to tell you. They want to heal things. But that's the thing. It's like they they just walked away from things and they in a the process of healing. Okay? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, I'm trying to tell you. They was dealing with somebody materialistic and that person was more focused on themselves. And what they finally realized was like, you know what? This is kind of like having a pimp. I don't really need him. I don't really need him. We making money off of my talent. So what I need him for? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, this how this person looked at it. This person could have been a gold digger, you know, or just somebody that want to nurture themselves. I also see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse as somebody that's unfaithful. It could be a, a disloyal spouse. So why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? But they coming up matching, you know, the King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That can also indicate in like a recent divorce. I'm telling you, this person was unsincere emotionally. This woman heart was not in it. So they probably was just looking to get their business off the ground. Y'all, somebody wasn't satisfied with something. What's that? Somebody wasn't emotionally satisfied in this situation. It probably was the masculine energy because this queen of pinnacles in reverse is coming up as somebody that's more nurturing to themselves. Like they all into themselves. Let's see, why is the Nine of Cups in reverse here? Yeah, this person played mad mind games. I'm telling you, that that was probably the plan. Like, I'm going to literally make him think I love him, take his money, build a business, then dip on him, okay? Yeah, this was something that was meant to be temporary, and this masculine did not see that, but this person was lying to them. They were lying. I'm telling you. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. He lost a lot of money. He invested a lot of money into this person because he was sexually attracted to them. Now we getting the King of Wands. So she had another dude. Who is this King of Wands energy? I bet you it's her mister. The, the man she really passionate about. The man that's really putting it down because somebody here wasn't satisfied possibly with the sex. But it also could have been that the masculine wasn't emotionally satisfied, okay? So, oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Woo, child. These karmics be, oh boy. They be having game, honey. Okay, game I wouldn't even imagine playing. This person had a man that's attractive and great in bed. That can satisfy them. But this man didn't work. So whoever this masculine is. That feel play. And they lost a lot of money to this woman. She probably was dishing out money to this person. Because this person wasn't even working. The only effort he was putting in. Was in the bedroom. Let's get one more on this king of wands. Wow. Oh my God, yo. I'm trying to tell you, these women be doing these men just like they be doing us. I'm telling you. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I'm almost ashamed to say what I got to say. But this woman actually complained to this King of Wands about the King of Pentacles and Reverse's performance in bed. Somebody here wasn't giving rounds like she wanted. And so that's why she had a side man. But this side man ain't even have to work. He didn't even have to work. And that secret came out. That affair came out. And this masculine is heartbroken over it. And they headed straight towards you, Divine Feminine. Oh, God. As the Emperor. Now, y'all better be careful. This person trying to manifest you back into their life, but they was invested in whoever this is. Don't let them uh, make you think otherwise. Don't let them come in doing the same thing that they did to you, smearing your name, telling lies, making it seem like you was an ain't shit woman, when in reality, it was them, and they was just trying to gain um, sympathy from other women by talking crap about you, because they'll come back and do the same thing to another woman, to you. Okay, now that I mean, now nah, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, this was a player tactic right here. But sometimes you gotta eat that L, especially when that's the type of energy you've been putting out in the universe. You know what I'm saying? So, this person is trying to manifest you in, they definitely want to come in on some husband stuff. This other person, they want a family, but I mean, let's see, let's get one more on the Ten of, ten of Cups. Wow. So this person had a family, but was still holding on to you. 
And they done got they ass whooped by the universe as well. Okay? The, something got illuminated over here in this situation. Men are finding out left and right that women can be just as doggish. That's what's happening here in both of these situations. What's the sun? Two of cups in reverse. That they was competing with other men. That Both of these masculine energies were competing for other men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one had a knight of wands. So this one over here had a king of wands. This one over here had a knight of wands. So both of these men that denied you for other women is basically coming back around. One is coming back around because they lost a fortune, okay? They probably even lost their home. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Another person is with somebody else, but they feel like they made the wrong decision. And they want to build some type of happiness with you. But... They with somebody else. They just clinging on to you. This person can't, they can't give you the emotional fulfillment that you want or deserve, okay, at all. So that person is just a distraction. So, okay, yeah, they might have felt like they should have had a ten of cups with you, but the truth of the matter is they got a ten of cups with somebody else. Okay, they got a family, they got they probably got a new baby. This other person over here, like both of them getting played and cheated on. I mean, let's just I ain't even trying to be mean like that, but what's the outcome of this situation for Divine Feminine? Because this is kind of like, I mean, it's like two men in your life that definitely was denying the connection between you before one investing in somebody else. The other person either already had a family or they was dating multiple people. And they created a family with one of the people they was dating, you know. And it could have been something that wasn't planned. And maybe that's why that person ghosted you. And then for others of you, they just had a hidden marriage. They didn't tell you. They met you. They pretended to be single. And they, whoever they was with, whether it was a girlfriend or a wife, that person could have gotten pregnant again while y'all was seeing each other, okay? And that could have been why this person ghosted you or couldn't give you the love that you deserved. But... Both of these men are with, with women that, what is the outcome for Divine Feminine? Because that ain't even really our business, honestly. You got to be careful because some of these men is coming back for rebounds, all right? And you already know what's up. In the Mercury Retrograde, if you start anything, even if you reconcile, then it's bound to be over with by the time Mercury Retrograde is over with, okay? This situation doesn't serve you. Archangel Michael is saying, you know, yeah, this might be a test or whatever. It's Mercury retrograde. You already know that. But this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking more uplifting approach. And that's what you need. It's not a man that got so much baggage and heartbreak that they just coming up, coming in to refuel off of your energy, you know, to make themselves feel confident again and then to go off and do the same thing to you. Especially when Archangel Michael is showing up. It's like it's best for your protection not to go back into these old situations. One of them for sure, because the person still looked to be with their family, the empress, because that's what you are. You don't have time to be settling. I don't care how much people try to make it seem like, oh, for me, if it was, you know, if you love me, you used to love me so much, what happened? Da, 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 da. Okay, I fell in love with myself. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? I fell in love with myself and being in love with you because it's mind games involved. The five of Michael is the five of swords. Okay? It's mind games definitely involved. You've been enlightened. It said time to act act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. That's what y'all got coming in for y'all. And if somebody gonna invest in you, let it be somebody new. Let it be somebody where the energy is not already tainted and corrupted. Okay? Because too much happened in these past situations to even be rectified. Forgiveness can be had, but you bringing these people back in? No, because they still playing mind games. If they was coming genuine, I would say it. But look, the page of Gabriel, which is the page of Wands, is in reverse. That's like a fling-like energy. That's somebody that don't have the strength to follow through. Okay? They don't have the strength to follow through. Whether it's that they led away by temptation too much or that this person just need healing to do. And they don't know when to set themselves down and just be by themselves rather than, okay, I don't want her no more. I'm going to go be with her. 
You can't keep doing that. And y'all know that because y'all coming up as the empress. And y'all got a new opportunity to manifest like so much. Y'all get ready to learn something new that's going to manifest even more dreams in your life. You don't have time for distractions, drama, even more jealous females doing spell work. These jealous exes doing spell work. You don't got time for that. You don't. You enter in a new phase. Stay high vibe. Stay with the high vibe tribe. And leave people in the past behind you, okay? Forgive them and move on, all right? I love you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, especially if you're feeling my vibe. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.